how do you teach Google about things? And this is, this is the foundation of CaliCube is we treat Google like a child. It's a child that wants to understand. It understands 54 billion things, but it's got a lot more to understand. Hundreds, thousands of billions of things. And it's up to me to educate it about my things. Out of those 54 billion, I'm in, I'm in there, one of us, one me, one Jason Barnard. I need to educate it about this specific Jason Barnard, who I am, what I do, which audience I serve, what topics I'm an expert in, so that it can understand when I will be relevant to its users. So for example, there's a Jason Barnard who's a podcaster in the UK about music. If Google understands that he talks about music, he's called Jason Barnard. I talk about digital marketing, I'm Jason Barnard. If you can understand the two are different, it will be able to present him to somebody who's interested in the Beatles and me to somebody who's interested in driving traffic through digital marketing. That's the key. When you think about people's names, it's very ambiguous. I can, I can go on with the Jason Barnards. There's a circus clown in South Africa. There's an ice hockey player. There's a professor at San Francisco University. There's the CEO of a company called Lithium something in Canada. Each of them needs to be individually understand with the same string of characters that represents them. So that's the strings. Google now says, well, it's actually four or five different things each of whom has a speciality and each of whom will be relevant to a different audience. If I can understand the things, I can give a much better answer than if I've understood just the strings.